Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's Castle Hominid here. How are you guys doing today? And in today's video, I did want to make another farming video just because I like the last one so much. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the OK load, thank you, the dungeon farm. Now, the dungeon farm I have on this world is a little bit different because contrary to uh, dungeons itself, sometimes you do have to, you know, use what you're given. And in this case, this give this is the layout that I was given. Obviously, it is randomly generated. So that's always going to change, however, it's not really hard. I could make a farm right here if I really wanted to, just by making a simple ladder-like thing and then having it drop down into a pit where I can kill them. Then instead, I am actually going to be using this, which is the pitfall. So they come from, okay, I did not mean to do that, but whatever. They basically come from pretty much all directions, and they even spawn down here, which then allows you to, you know, kill them. So, the biggest thing about this is I can, with this farm, due to the different backgrounds, I can actually get different um, specialist bones. So, I can get the Necromancer, the, uh, the other one that drops the Spectre Staff. Holy shit. Stop dropping! Ugh. And a couple of others that are obviously good. So the tactical skeleton, the skeleton sniper, the necromancer. And just overall pretty much everything. And that is because they come from all different directions. Basically around there, there, and here. Now this is actually different from the last time I was here. And I showed you this farm because I did make it so that they jump up here. Go all the way up here jump and then fall down which is basically the best thing because they used to get stuck and obviously dungeon trials and dungeon farms are pretty you know sometimes they can be difficult but the majority of the time you just have to learn from your mistakes with building previous ones in this case i have had multiple dungeon farms in multiple different worlds before this one so I obviously have learned. So that is it. This is the dungeon farm. I basically have it so that they fall straight down and they're stuck here. And I can literally just camp here and, you know, kill them by doing this. As you can see, there are 11 enemies. And then if I spray, then it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, 6, obviously. So you do end up killing them. And if you do this for a long enough time and you leave your controller held down, you can come down and get a bunch of gold as well as some other items. So just coming here alone, I did in fact get this shotgun. And this is the chest that have not never left this area. So everything here has not been placed here in any way. And this is what I am able to get. Let's see, it is pretty good. I have gotten some rifle scopes, bone feathers, sniper rifles, shadow beam stabs, specter stabs, magnet spheres as well as key brands, rocket launchers, and you know, obviously, they, they are pretty good, and uh, yeah, and they do help you late game, especially rocket launchers, I find, now, I did not make a video on them, and I did only mainly stick to uh, items that would drop from bosses, but if you do want to farm, the rocket launcher is dropped by a uh, skeleton, I forget the name of it, but it does spawn here in the farm at least and it does come up and it isn't the tactical shotgun or it's not the tactical skeleton but i actually forgot the name so if i do remember that i will uh, let you know but i will talk to you guys in the next episode and i'll talk to you guys later